Don't try and sing these at home. Your life is a sham Till you can shout out loud I am what I am Hey guys, I'm Emily from Ms. Mojo and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hardest Broadway songs. Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the most difficult or challenging songs featured in big-time Broadway shows. Whether it's because of a stratospheric high note, how fast they are, or how many words are in a quick phrase. Let's go! Why choose to write to you a confidential letter full of strong variation that you may always better? I just hope it only requires a handful. And if it doesn't make spike bills and silly silver cream, you have made the team, Miss Dillmont. Number 10. Words Fail. Dear Evan Hansen. I never meant to make it such a mess. I never thought that it would go this far. The best Broadway shows, just like the best films or pieces of music, allow the audience to feel something important. This sort of connection is exactly what's developed in Words Fail, a song from the modern classic Dear Evan Hansen. Nothing can make sense of all these things I've done. It requires the ability of its lead to step into the shoes of Hansen and create a musical document of one man's crumbling mental state, guilt, and anxiety. Emotion is key in singing words fail, being able to properly approach and describe despair while remaining in control of every note. This song certainly isn't for every skill level, and for that reason takes the opening spot on our list. Would they like what they saw? Or would they hate it too? Number 9. And I Am Telling You I'm Not Going. Dream Girls. I'm not going. Okay, so Jennifer Hudson's performance in the movie adaptation of Dream Girls was outstanding. But for us, nothing can ever touch the original Broadway version of And I Am Telling You I'm Not Going by the inimitable Jennifer Holliday. The song requires so much power and soul. It's a breathtaking tour de force which demands an equally intense vocal. Holiday is more than up for the challenge too, making it almost look easy as she navigates both incredible high notes and guttural intonations with perfect skill. This not only speaks to Holiday's ability as a performer, but also to the level of challenge present within the song's arrangement. It's seriously impressive. Number 8. Rainbow High, Evita. There again, I've more to do than simply get the message through. I haven't started. Let's get this show on the road. Only a vocal powerhouse should attempt singing selections from Andrew Lloyd Webber's Evita. Whether it's a new Argentina or Rainbow High, the Broadway classic demands speed, accuracy, and incredible dexterity. Specifically, Rainbow High bounces up and down the vocal register, moving from low to high with quickness and without any mercy. Sure, there are spaces for the performer playing Eva Peron to rest, with support from the other singers in the cast, but this doesn't take away from how difficult Rainbow High is for even the most seasoned Broadway vet. Number 7. The Phantom of the Opera The Phantom of the Opera as one of the most well-known Broadway shows on our list, the odds are fairly good that you're familiar with The Phantom of the Opera. But what about the actual music? The of the opera is there. Andrew Lloyd Webber set a high bar for both his male and female leads when he composed the songs for Phantom, with the music of the night serving as a particular fan favorite. Let your soul For our money, it's that iconic title track which gets the nod. 
thanks mainly to the operatic high notes required for anyone brave enough to attempt the lead of Christine Daae. The song's ending sequence hits stratospheric heights, leaving the role out of reach for all but the most experienced or highly trained singers. Sing, my angel of music, sing for me! Number 6. Confrontation, Jekyll and Hyde Singing one complex Broadway tune is probably stressful enough, but how about attempting to handle two at the same time? Do you really think that I would ever let you go? This is the challenge which is posed to those who boldly take the lead on in this adaptation of Leslie Brickus's book from Frank Wildhorn and Steve Cuden. Time to breathe? What's that? There will be no such luxury for Dr. Henry Jekyll and Edward Hyde, as they argue and accuse one another back and forth in the exquisite confrontation. After tonight, I shall end this demon's dream. This is not a dream, my friend, and it will never end. This one is the nightmare that goes on. The song requires two different personalities as vocal ranges, as the baritone and tenor wage war with each other over who will win over this battle for a man's soul. If I die, you die too! You die in me! I'll be you! Number 5. Kiss Me, Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street He means to marry me Monday, what shall I do? I'd rather I'd die! Have a plan. Although Kiss Me may not feature the titular character of Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street, that doesn't mean that the song should be glossed over. Instead, this piece between lovers Anthony and Joanna is a fascinating duet, a layered piece which requires a well-rehearsed couple to set it all in place. The song's back-and-forth arrangement and interwoven lyrics can easily fall apart if either actor playing Anthony or Joanna is off, so timing is of the utmost importance. Kiss Me is subtle and deceptive in its difficulty, but that's one of the reasons why it's so great. Kiss me, oh sir. Number 4. Giants in the Sky, Into the Woods. Take a deep breath and go. When you're way up high and you're on your own in a world like none that you've ever known, where the sky is lead and the earth is stone, you're free to do whatever pleases you. There's just no other way to put it. Giants in the Sky is a mouthful, full of fast phrasing and quick jabs of notes which go from zero to wow in the blink of an eye. The song is taken from Stephen Sondheim's fan-favorite Broadway show, Into the Woods, and is set in the magical world of our favorite fairy tales. Exploring things you never dare cause you don't care when suddenly there's a big, tall, terrible giant at the door. A giant? Giants in the Sky is sung by young Jack after descending from his beanstalk, and it's the sort of soaring, strong Broadway show tune that fills us with feelings of whimsy and magic. It's no pushover, though, especially that last high note, which can trip up even the bravest of heroes. There are big, tall, terrible, awesome, scary, wonderful giants in the sky! Number 3. Getting Married Today Company. Speed kills. Or at least we think it may be the death of those who attempt to sing Getting Married Today from the Stephen Sondheim classic company. Part of me is everybody there because if everybody's there, I want to thank you all for coming to the wedding and appreciate you going even more. I mean, you must have lots of better things to do. Not a word of this to will remember. Well, you know the man I'm going to marry, but I'm not because I wouldn't ruin anyone as wonderful as he is. But I thank you all for the gifts and the flowers. Thank you all. Now it's back to the showers. Don't tell Will, but I'm not getting married today. The show didn't shy away from presenting a compelling and honest look at adult relationships within the musical framework, but Company is also funny, smart, and heartfelt. Getting Married Today exemplifies everything great about Company, from its wit and humor to its devilish, masochistic levels of difficulty. Listen, everybody, I'm afraid you didn't hear or do you want to see a crazy lady fall apart in front of you? Is it only Paul who may be ruining his life? You know what, both of us be losing our identities. I telephoned my analyst about it and he said to see him Monday, but by Monday I'll be floating in the hudson with the other garbage. I'm not well. Said quite simply, it takes a Broadway god to attempt the fast parts of this song without passing out, which makes Getting Married Today perhaps the only song on this list which should come with with some kind of safety warning. Number 2. Pity the Child, Chess. 
Hey, did you know that Bjorn and Benny from Swedish pop group ABBA wrote a musical? A damn good one at that. It's true. Up in my room, I planned my conquests. On my own, never asked for a helping hand. Chess began life as a concept album before making its way to Broadway in 1988, and was even revived as recently as 2018, both in the States and the West End in London. Pity the Child is one of the show's true highlights, a song which starts off with slow burn before exploding into a synthesizer-led rock opera masterwork. The male lead is required to climb higher and higher into his vocal register as the song moves along, eventually topping off some epic high notes before a sizzling guitar solo cuts it all off. Honestly, it's kinda badass. Hey, she said, <laughs> Before we name our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. Glitter and Be Gay, Candide. Glitter and be gay. That's the part I play. Candide may be the oldest show on this list, but as they say, the classics never go out of style. Leonard Bernstein's adaptation of Voltaire's novella debuted on Broadway back in 1956 and is continually referenced by fans and critics as one of the most impressively demanding of all time. Glitter and Be Gay is a prime example of that fact, a tour de force of glass-shattering high notes that frankly defy comparison. <laughs> It's the sort of relentless, ambitious musical arrangement which both makes us adore Broadway and shake our heads at just how incredible some of this music is. So I'm pretty sure Kristen Chenoweth is superhuman. Did you live vicariously through these legends? I know I sure did. If you want to live your Broadway dreams with more of our musical theater content, be sure to click here. And I'm telling you, I am going. <laughs> See ya.